Today I'm going to show you how to assemble the Bells of Steel Belt Squat 2.0. This whole assembly should take roughly 20 to 30 minutes. For this assembly, you're going to need a 17 millimeter wrench, a 19 millimeter wrench, a 24 millimeter wrench, and then a socket for each. I highly recommend having the belt squat on a table if at all possible. That way you can easily access the underneath to help tighten bolts and it just makes it nicer to, instead of having to sit on the floor to assemble this belt squat. There are a lot of different bolts, um, but overall it's pretty easy to assemble as long as you can follow the instructions in this video. Uh, all the bolts are very nice and neatly organized into separate bags, so it makes it a lot easier than some of our older models that were all placed in one bag. So the first bolt you're going to need is bolt three. It's the only one that doesn't have a nut. It's got a lock washer and then a washer, and those four screw right into the machine um, for this piece. So go ahead and put bolt three in and you can very loosely tighten it down. So once again, you won't need to have a bolt on the other end, but these are automatically threaded into the machine. So it makes it really nice. I'm going to go ahead and leave everything just hand tight for right now. Now we're going to take our angled bracket and bolt number five and put it in. The only trick for the whole machine is that this has to go in first before anything else here is tightened. So put the bolt five in because it's longer and then start screwing it down. So once again, the inside bolt has to go on first for this model before these can go in. Otherwise you won't get that bolt in. The reason that we made this bolt longer is so that you have more threading for the bearings, which has been really nice, but it makes that one bolt a little bit more challenging. Bolt number four is the only bolt on the back side that is 19 millimeters. There's four of these and they go on the back side. So I like to go through the back plate and then slip them through and then connect. Once again, you can lightly tighten these, but I would wait till the very end. Next, I'm going to put bolt number two in the very bottom. Bolt number two is the most common and is also a 24 millimeter, but it actually has a nut on the other side. So you'll slide these through the back plate. Make sure the bracketing is on the outside. So that extra welded piece of metal, make sure it's on the outside. And then the exact opposite for the front, you want to make sure the extra welding brackets are on the front here. Bolt number six is our smallest bolt. It's a 17 millimeter and it helps support the peg holders. So you have one hand on the inside and you can just screw it on in. Get it hand tight and then you can add the wrench on the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and put my bearings on my top swivel bracket. The key to this bracket is making sure that the big hole is in the middle, so that way the bar can slide in that you hold on to. And then you can take these longer bolt number fives compared to other models that we've had, and you can get those threaded in. If the bearing doesn't come aligned, it's okay. They can very easily be fixed with the tap of a hammer. We'll also have a P204 fixed bearing uh, video in the comment section below. So right now I'm a little misaligned, but all I'm gonna do is pull the bearing out a little bit to make sure it aligns better. You can always shift them in or out, left or right, tap them with a hammer, and it'll always go back in place. Also, I highly recommend putting the top bolt in first and then tapping the bottom without the bolt in to get it aligned. And you can go ahead and just rest it on the end once you have all of them in. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and tighten these on down. So as you can see, I'm still slightly misaligned. So I'm gonna take the bottom, hit it with a hammer a couple times, and now I'm aligned and can put the bolt in, no problem. So once again, we're gonna use our shortest bolt, bolt number six, the same ones that go for the band peg holders, and that'll be the top one to screw in the bar. Put your 17 millimeter on. Tighten on down. Same process as the bearings down here. I'm gonna do with the bearings up here for this piece. Once again, we use bolt number five to put these in. I'm gonna put the tops in first. So that way, in case the bottoms are misaligned, I can easily tap it into place.
Next, we're gonna put this big cross member piece that goes across the top. I'm gonna show you the easiest way I've found to do it over the years. So I like to flip these levers to the top so I can easily have something to rest on to put these bolts in. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that the extra plated piece is on the outside. Slide a bolt in. Once again, we are using bolt number two. Next, go ahead and put the J-cups on. There is a right and a left for this version. For the arm that holds the plate peg holder, make sure the reinforcement is once again on the outside. And then you're gonna take bolt number two and stick it through. Then you can tighten this down. Now we're gonna attach the piece that holds the belt. You're gonna use bolt number one, which is slightly longer than bolt number two, and there's only two of these. And you're gonna simply slide them through the middle and then attach the piece that holds the belt. You can make it a half turn lighter if you wanna have it here. If you wanna make sure it's super tight, you can go there. But I always just do a half turn back just to have it flat, but it doesn't matter either way. It'll still hook onto the belt. And now you have a big decision to make. Do you want the plate peg holder on the top or on the side? You can choose during assembly. We're gonna be using bolt number two again. I prefer to go on the top and then this plate we're gonna put on the bottom. It's the only plate that comes with it. So one for each side. And then you can tighten down. We hope that this video and the manual that we supply make it very, very easy to put together. This manual is up to date and it's easy to follow. Hey folks, Kayvon here, founder of Bells of Steel. I hope you loved that video. Be sure to click on the link in the description if you want to get those products for your own home gym. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and let the games begin.